Hi, I'm Stephen Gill, Head of IP Recruitment here at Castleton Clark. You should remember our popular IP salary survey we released last month. It gives a thorough overview of compensation within the industry. We actually had about 250 people who took part, so thanks very much to those individuals for their input. Now today, I'm going to give you the key findings from that survey and then dive a little deeper and give you a bit more of a thorough analysis. So to give you a little insight into the types of people who took part, 51% work in patents, 34% in admin roles and 15% in trademarks. In terms of regional split, the largest group, 41%, work in London, 22% from the Midlands, 19% from the North, 11% from the South East and just 7% from the South West. London is still the place to be in terms of opportunities and salary levels don't seem to show any signs of change just yet and that's actually not surprising given the results, bearing in mind that most of the large firms have a London presence. Let's have a look at some of the numbers now. Looking at private practice, unsurprisingly with a higher cost of living, London leads away with the highest average salary across the board. We may see government projects like HS2 and the Northern Powerhouse project balance this out over the longer term. The salary levels rise consistently as your qualification level rises. At the top end of the scale, there's a mix of ways in which people are remunerated with some partner level professionals paid heavily in bonuses or dividends. The salary levels for patent professionals in industry rise comparatively to those in private practice until we reach the 6 to 12 years qualified level. There is a huge £10,000 difference for London based professionals compared to the other regions in this bracket. We also noticed at the more experienced end the potential to earn higher bonuses as an overall remuneration package which comes at no surprise. We had quite a small sample for trademark professionals compared to patent attorneys. One thing of note that we saw over the last two salary surveys is that private practice seems to be overtaken by industry when you get to the more senior end of experience. With the administration positions, we have seen no real surprise as a salary rises with experience, albeit at a slower rate. The position with the most earning potential is a head of records and formalities. To get to the top of this profession, management capabilities are essential. Many IP employers we work with complain of a conveyor belt effect with administration staff, where experienced members of their team leave the business and are replaced with more junior hires. We would strongly advise firms to look at their benefits and flexibility to ensure the retention of valuable team members. We work heavily with candidates in the mechatronics and science industries. Patent and trademark attorneys have always commanded higher salaries when specialising in sciences, and this is backed up by the data here. But a word of encouragement to those specialising in mechatronics, you're in high demand at this point in time and we can see salaries drawing closer to those specialising in sciences. 62% of the people who took part in the survey expect to receive an individual bonus this year. This seems like good news to us and hope it continues in this way. However, 55% expect to receive a company bonus this year. While this doesn't seem like much of a difference compared to individual bonuses, it's actually a 9% increase in last year. We expect that Brexit has probably got something to do with this and overall weaker confidence in the economy post-referendum. It comes as no surprise that IP professionals put basic salary at the top of their priority list when it comes to benefits. Location, flexi time and working from home were just below this according to our survey. This suggests to us that more and more people are looking to prioritise a convenient and flexible work-life balance. Sadly though, only 40% of our respondents actually get the flexi time working from home benefits that they are seeking. Our advice would be to think seriously about the possibility of not being granted this benefit when looking at new career opportunities. With the current financial climate, IP professionals may find it hard to justify this as well as also receiving a competitive salary. And employers, you may want to think about how you offer this too. Hopefully this video has given you some useful information and insights. No doubt you'll be able to use these to enhance your career in some way. For the full details, please click on the link below. Thanks for watching.